Hey everyone, this is going to be episode 6 of my Injustice 2 character talks, and today's episode is going to be on Black Canary. I will go over all of the Black Canaries and mostly speak about the current one that we have in Injustice 2, and the one that's been Black Canary since. So, um, what I mean by that, since before. And just two people in black and wearing. There have been two, I believe, two or three. Um, so, let me find my page. <coughs> and encyclopedia. So, I'm just going to briefly go over the two canaries that are in this encyclopedia. Um, so first we have Black Canary, Dinah Drake, Drake Lance, who was a hero, she's deceased. She was in Adventures in the Forest. Uh, her base was Gotham City. Her special powers and abilities included trained in judo and a feisty fighter. Often concealed smoke or tear gas pellets in the amulet of her choker. She first appeared in Flash Comics number 86 in August of 1947. So, I'm actually going to read her uh, little summary and then I'll go on to Black Canary 2 because that's who I'm going to go in depth about. So, in 1947, Dinah Drake's dreams of becoming a Gotham City Police woman were dashed when her police academy application was rejected and her doting father, Detective Richard Drake, subsequently passed away. Dinah used her small inheritance to open a florist shop while pursuing a more clandestine career. Crime, fi crime fighting, inspired by the brightly clad mystery men of the time, raven haired Dinah designed her own stylish costume, which included black fishness fishnets and leather, <coughs> as well as a blonde wig to conceal her identity. Anne embarked on a vigilante career as a sultry black canary, at first passing herself off as a criminal to infiltrate Gotham's underworld. The judo-savvy black canary eventually revealed her true colors upon teaming with fellow hero Johnny Thunder. See the Thunder Johnny. Um, she became a member of the Justice Society of America. Soon after, although eventually retired from costume crime fighting, she married private detective Larry Lance and gave birth to a daughter, also named Dinah, who would carry on her mother's heroic legacy. Dinah Drake Lance died of radiation-induced cancer, an after-effect from battling the cosmic-powered villain Aquarius, an epic struggle during which Larry Lance sacrificed his own life alongside her JSA teammate. So, Dinah Drake Lance is Dinah Laura Lance's mother, and she she died. So, Dinah Laura Lance took on the mantle of the Black Canary. She was sex, so she's the second Black Canary. Her first appearance was in Justice League of America, number seventy-five, in November of nineteen sixty-nine. Real name: Dinah Laura Lance. Uh, status: Hero. Occupation Adventure Base Gotham City and her special powers and abilities include ultrasonic ear splitting, canary cry, and she's capable of shattering metal. Mark and she's skilled in martial arts and a box and boxing. So she's a boxing expert. Um her little summary says while the original black canary hoped to spare her daughter the perils of a crime fighting career young Dino Laurel went. Nevertheless, grew up in the shadow of her mother's great exploits. Tales often told to her by the JSA members who babysat her. Like her mother, Dinah was also a super, superb athlete and fighter. But young Dinah also possessed a metagene that bequeathed her a unique superpower, which was her high pitched, her hyper pitched canary cry. Despite her mother's wishes, Dinah took up the fishnets and leather outfit a black canary gifted in judo. Dinah also learned boxing from her uncle, Ted Grant, as well as other fighting techniques from her mother's teammates in the original JSA. 
As such, she was one of the first second generation superheroes operating as Black Canary number two. Dinah had a string of solo adventures before joining Justice League of America, where she began a romance with Green Arrow Oliver Queen. Later, she signed on as the primary bird a prey operative working for Oracle. Following the infant crisis, Black Canary traded places with Lady Shiva, training overseas while Shiva assumed duties with the birds of prey in Vietnam. Black Canary took Shiva's successor, the young girl Sin, Sin, under her wing, bringing her back to the U.S. to raise her. She also signed on as a chairswoman of the new Justice League. She soon fell in love with Anu, with all the queen. She fell in love with all the queen. And super villains crashed their wedding, and Black Canary killed a man and person her husband, and later rescued the true Oliver from Amazonian imprisonment on Themistic. So, you're going to go into the DC database. Page and we're going to discuss a little more about Dino Laurel Lance. So, as it was mentioned, she was born to a family of crime fighters. Her father, Larry Lance, was a police officer, while her mother was the original Black Canary. Uh, according to her origins during the Silver Age, Dino's canary cry was the result of her being cursed by the wizard during her childhood. This explanation has been retconned for the current continuity. However, the sonic powers are now the byproduct of her possession of the metagene, making her a metahuman since birth. Her metahumanity distinguishes her from her predecessor, so she has different abilities than her mother. Uh, in fact, no other member of her family is known to have possessed this metagene at all. <coughs> so, we're going to find her team affiliations. I'm going to briefly um, go over them. Um, she has an adopted daughter named Sin, stepson Connor Hawk, which is um, Green Arrow's son. Um, her team affiliations include Birds of Prey, formerly Justice League of America, Justice Society of America, Justice League Task Force, Justice League International, and Team Arrow. She was formerly from Star City, so her base of operations is Gotham City. Um, As I mentioned, she was an adventurer in a forest. Um, her universe is Earth One, New Earth, a place of birth, Gotham City. Her choice of transportation is uh, her motorcycle. Also. So, we're just going to briefly go over her team. Um, Justice League, not long after her debut as Black Canary, she became a founding member of Justice League of America. It was Dinah who suggested her newly formed name of the League in defer deference to her mother's having been a member of the Justice Society of America. This is where she first met Green Arrow. Um, I'm going to skip to Bird's Prey. Uh, Dinah was contacted by Oracle, Barbara Gordon, to work in Gotham City, which she accepted, and they formed a partnership of Bird's Prey. So, I'm not going to go over every single team she's been in, that's why I skipped some. She's been in quite a few. Um, she's been part of the Justice Society of America, where she found a new incarnation of her mother's old team. Um, she served as both a member of that, a bird of prey. And... 
we're not gonna go over the whole wedding thing with her and um Greeno. But as I'm as it was mentioned, she accidentally killed someone that was disguised as um Oliver and had to go save the real Oliver. Her powers and abilities include the her canary cry, which is the metagene that put gives her a potent sonic attack. She can um, damage foes or objects. Um, she possesses an incredible degree of control over her vocals. This enables her to make sounds and generate any sounds she desires, even developing um, several abilities. She's been able to reach 300 disciples, which is enough to make a person start bleeding even if they're not the attack target. So her canary cry is very strong. Uh, some other abilities that she has include acrobatics, driving, investigation, and martial arts. Um, she is one of the most skilled martial artists on the planet. She's also been trained by Wildcat, who is her, un her uncle that I was talking about. Um, he was formerly the heavyweight champion of the world. Um, some of the fighting styles that she uses include Taekwondo, Judo, Jiu Jitsu. Um, she is also considered a strong leader and strategic thinker, which has led her to her being made the chairwoman of the jail. Her weaponry, I don't really think she has much. Uh, she can also speak Japanese. Um, and her strength level, she has a very high strength level. She possesses the strength level of a woman in her age, size and weight who engages in intensive, regular exercise. She can therefore press at least her own body weight, twice her own body weight. Her equipment includes body armor and oracle tech, which is necklace and earrings used as communication of device from oracle. Um, her weapons uh, include various martial arts weapons and her canary cry bomb, which is a bomb that emits a similar loud sonic sound to her sonic scream. So, moving on to trivia. Prior to and during her heroic career, Dino wore a blonde wig to hide her identity and mislead her enemies. Later, she bleached her hair blonde instead of concerning herself with the wig. She plays a harmonica, which she uses to strengthen her breathing and vocal cords. And this has been part of her training for a canary cry. She has a rare RH negative blood type, such as her lover does. So Green Arrow has the same type of blood type she does. And she also once was a physical education teacher at Meadow Hill School before it got destroyed. So, with that being said, those are basically the things I wanted to touch on. With her character, and that's basically um, from doing research. That's what I've found out about her, and that's pretty much all we need to discuss. So we are going to talk about her part in Justice Two, which is um, she is a member of the Insurgency. She's part of Batman's team, um, as is Green Arrow, even though it's an alternate Green Arrow. He's from a different Earth. Because the previous one is dead. He was killed in uh, the first injustice. Um, so he's dead. This is an alternative. Oliver Queen. And he's on Batman's team. Because as the other arrow, he didn't believe in what Superman was doing. So he's on Batman's side. And so because Black Canary is on Batman's side, this. Oliver Queen is on Batman's side. So, that's her part in the story. What do I think of her character in general? Um, 
I love Black Canary. She's really cool. Um, I like her on Arrow, but I wasn't a huge fan of Laurel, but she was okay. Um, I thought Sarah was the best Canary, personally, even though originally she's not the Canary, but that's what I think of Black Canary. I like her. Um, she had a pretty cool uh, reveal trailer. I enjoyed it. Uh, I will be playing her in the game. And expect to see lots of Injustice 2 content and gameplay when I get the game. But with that being said, this concludes episode 6 of my Injustice 2 character talks. And I hope you guys are enjoying them. I've been sharing them on Twitter so that people can check them out if they want to. Um, as I said, this channel is just for fun. I'm not looking to get paid or anything for this stuff. Um, because I do not have monetization enabled or anything. So I just do streams and videos for fun and to waste time until the game comes out. Because I'm really excited, so... I just, this is stuff that I plan to do anyways, talk about like comic book characters, I will still do that, um, they don't all have to be in Justice, or DC related, I will talk about Marvel characters too, because I like both DC and Marvel, so, if there's any characters you'd like me to discuss, that's cool, and uh, any games you want me to stream, I will try to do my best, uh, by streaming them, I might just stream random games from time to time, and I'll still be doing lots of Injustice streams up until the release of 2. And I also have some videos planned to do uh, where I'm going to give my thoughts on the Bane gameplay, the Captain Cold gameplay, and the Flash gameplay that we saw today in the Watchtower streams. So I will give you my thoughts on all that when I watch it because I'm going to excuse me I'm going to watch the gameplay now and then I will do the videos so with that being said I'm going to finish this off also I will be streaming the rest of the Injustice character endings tomorrow when I get the time so stay tuned for that and I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching bye